Ooh, haircut. It's April 23rd, 2015, which can only mean one thing. It's Thursday? No, uh, it's Earth Day. No, that was yesterday. It's my birthday! No, that's this Sunday. Oh, I know! It's St. George's Day! The day we celebrate with as much frivolity and zeal as St. Patrick's Day, right? The fact is, not many people know or care about poor old St. George, but having a holiday where people primarily celebrate you through drinking does help you get a bit more noticeable. St. George is the patron saint of England and is represented within the Union Jack by the Red Cross. The flag of St. George is simply a red cross on a white background. Not to be confused with the flag of Denmark, which is a white cross on a red background. While St. Patrick is best known for his snake pest control business, and of course, celebration through libation, St. George's greatest accomplishment is slaying a dragon. Yes, you heard me correctly, slaying a dragon. Putting aside the whole dragons aren't real thing for a moment, you might be inclined to believe the scenario playing out like something in The Hobbit. But here's an artistic representation of what they think it looked like. That is the ancient equivalent of Luke Skywalker shooting womp rats in his T-16. And it's sad that someone who would go so far as to slay a fictional creature doesn't get more of a celebration or recognition. Do you want to change that? Of course you do. Crack open your red and white makeup, fly your England flag proudly, and start doing some typically English things. Such as... Drink tea! Say sorry. A lot. Especially if it isn't your fault. Forget the Kiss Me I'm Irish t-shirt, and instead sport your finest, just a handshake please, I'm English shirt. And of course, kill a dragon. Guess what else I've got? A viewer sent in a spooky happening. They haven't gone away. Alexis Truman emailed and said she found a doll in her sister's closet. She's not going to ask her about it, because it looks like this. In Alexis's words, no, just no. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have a spooky happening, don't forget to send them to the superamazingproject at gmail.com or tweet them to me at Alastair Murden. Happy St. George's Day! I honestly thought I had a St. George flag somewhere, but I just couldn't find it, so. So imagine this is just the red. Happy St. George's Day!